Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, hey. Uh, I realize this is an interesting look, okay? Like, it's not lost on me. Uh, the other day, someone said I look like I sell steroids to Pop Warner. <laughs> yeah, it's like, they're just like Flintstone vitamins. It's fine, you know. <sighs> That's fun. I own a hair dryer. Yeah, uh, people don't believe it's mine, but I do. Uh, what happened was, is a towel was no longer working on this part. You know what I mean? Like, it just, I needed science, is what I needed <laughs> to attack what was going on. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I performed in Afghanistan, it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, uh, interesting. So I spent a year in Afghanistan, as a lot of vets have. It was a good time. Uh, here's the thing. And, yeah. Here's the thing. So I spent a year at war, and when I came back, I saw a documentary uh, by BBC, and I learned something new. Uh, they embedded themselves with ISIS, and I learned that ISIS recruits primarily by targeting young, disenfranchised men. And I can only imagine every United States military recruiter was like, that's our strategy! <laughs> like, leave them alone. So here we are. It's like, we're the same. Anyway. Yeah. Veterans Day is coming up. It's gonna be good. Here's the thing now. Uh, I appreciate Veterans Day, I really do. Uh, I take advantage of all the discounts, but I don't think it's like equal. You know what I mean? Like I was fighting the Taliban for a year and then I, I get a blooming onion. You know what I mean? Like that's not. <laughs> It's not the same. <laughs> yeah, because if you ask any real military vet, like, I spent a year without seeing a lady. Like, when I come home, I'm not thinking about Home Depot, okay? Like, that's... <laughs> that's it. So, here's my proposal. We revamp Veterans Day and expand those same discounts to the real thankless service, and that's to all of the people that hook up with veterans after war, okay? Like that's, that's who deserves them, okay? That is, that's a service, okay? Like that. Yeah, but here's the thing though, every branch, not the same, all right? If you hook up with an Air Force veteran, you get a scoop of ice cream. Vanilla, that's it. <laughs> they had air conditioning. Like, what do you want? Like, you get a cold treat. <laughs> that's for you. Yeah. But if you hook up with a soldier, I think you get a steak dinner. All right? Yeah, I'm with that. I mean, mainly because it's... He's probably been to Iraq and Afghanistan like four or five times by this point. It's kind of a liability to have in your house. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's not good. Hook up with somebody in the Navy. Bottomless mimosas. I don't know. Like, that's, that's the gayest thing I could think of. I don't know. Yep. And that's it. Yeah, people are always like, well, what about the Marine Corps? What about the Marines? And I was like, well, I already said Navy.
One more thing before I get out of here. <laughs> Despite all that, I do find myself sometimes in relationships. And I figured out my type. Have you guys figured out your type yet? Okay, because for me, it was a little bit difficult. All right, because physically, there wasn't any common denominator. But I looked at it closer. And I found out that there is one theme that seems to stick out. Okay? And the only way I know how to address this is in the form of a question. How many special education teachers is it okay to date? before you have to ask yourself a very critical question about you? <laughs> the first one just kind of seems like an accident. It's like, man, this girl is very patient. <laughs> but by the second one, it's kind of suspicious. It's like, man, we are doing a lot of structured activities together. <laughs> All righty, my name is Dan Kaufman. That's been my time. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> <laughs>